Hello everyone, my name is J. Taiwo Popola. You are welcome back to the present. In this channel, we always like to talk about how to grow and build your business through accounting and bookkeeping, taxation, business advisory, company secretarial services, and all related uh, services. Today, I'd like to share with you all the benefits of management reports in running your businesses. It's a fact that most small businesses do not consider management reports in running their businesses. In fact, they do head, uh, or let me say, mental, mental reporting. Some we just use mental report, oh, this one, this one, this one, like this. No. I'm talking about using management reports. What are the benefits? Number one, management reports provide information, information in various levels of pressure of your businesses that enables you to know what and what is going on. It enables you to know the trends of events, the trends of activities, and it provides a, 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 a good information which can help you to detect any error, any mistakes, anything that can cause the business, uh, that, that can really make the wreck the business so it provides information that's why you need it the second thing is that management reports help you in selecting best alternative course of action because by the time management reports are generated they bring up different they bring up many alternatives many alternatives out of which you can actually choose a profitable one a profitable one i mentioned that management report provides you information secondly it, 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 it helps you in selecting best alternative in running your business then thirdly it provides a control mechanism because when you have the information you are able to know whether you are meeting your goals or not so it provides a way of knowing. It's just like a, a, a motor vehicle. When a car is getting out of the road, the man with the steering will know how to stay it back. So also, when you are running your business, when you have management reports, you are able to know when the business is trailing. And in fact, to take it to technical level, if you have a budget, then your budget, you must always compare the actual with the budgeted uh, standards. Let me just say it that way. I don't want to uh, make things complex, but those who are county oriented will understand what I'm saying. That you have what we call actual and budgeted, and you compare the same thing. The two will give you variance, and the variance can either be favorable or adverse. So it provides a control, uh, it provides a, a control system, control mechanism that you can use. When it is adverse, you, you, you will know what to do. When the actual is exceeded, is favorable, you will know what to do. Number four, number four, it's help in profitable operation of the business. It's helpful in profitable operation of the business that's number four in other words it um, it highlights the direction in which your business is moving and it enables you to know are you are, are you working at the appropriate level of operation it enables management to know what instructions they need to uh, carry out that's number four and number five, of course, this one, it follows what we call the principle of management by exception. In other words, you are able to see exception to the standard. 
you are able to see what is getting out of hand. You are able to know what to incorporate into your plans when you are when next you are doing either a business plan or you are doing budgeting, and it enables you to know what the exact step to take. And lastly, which is number six, it helps in achieving the goals of the business. It helps in achieving the goals of the business. At the beginning of the year, when you set up goals, you are able to know what and what to do to achieve the goals. In the area of employees, maybe they need to be motivated. Maybe you need additional resources. Maybe you, you need all this. We let you know how to achieve your goals. So management reports, we actually point you to the fact that are you achieving your goals? Are you moving near your goals? If not, what are the hindrances? What are the things that are not making you to achieve your goals? And it will let you know the right step to take. If this video helps us in any way, let us know by liking this video. And leave your comments, leave your thoughts in the comment section. The most important part is to subscribe to this channel. And please don't forget to click the bell so that you can, you can be notified of our next video. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next video. Thank you.